Good morning to you. It's, uh, f uh, f I can't get a word out. It's Friday the 20th of May 2016. I had a lovely day yesterday with uh, Auntie Brenda, boys and girls. Auntie Brenda, um, who, who it appears is an extremely nervous passenger in a car. Oh my God. She really is. Now there will be... A quick word from Auntie Brenda very shortly today, boys and girls. I didn't get the car, the, didn't get the camera out for the whole of uh, yesterday's wonderful event uh, in my little calendar. But well, there will be a quick word from Auntie Brenda, so stay tuned to this channel exclusively to United Kingdom Talk, boys and girls. Uh, but she is a very, very nervous child. And you, you're driving along, and whenever another car appears over the horizon, you know, not next to you, not just a little bit, like right over the... Or, oh, there's another car coming. Like, she's like that. You do, I'm not joking. She is absolutely like that. Every, oh, where's that one going? <laughs> I said, are you all right, Brenda? I said, I don't think you should be getting in the car with other people. She said, you seem to drive so fast to me. I go everywhere at 20 mile an hour. And then I, then I remembered. This keeps happening to me, especially with those blasted Uber drivers. All the time they're driving along the road at 20 miles an hour, boys and girls. I think, I think Brenda, who's, uh, I think she's rapidly approaching her 70s now. She's almost 70 now. I think she could be an Uber driver because she's driving. She, According to what she said, she drives at the, well, probably drives faster than most of the Uber drivers driving through central London over the A40 on a Saturday night. God, so, oh, there's a car coming. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, Brenda, I love you so much. That's my auntie Brenda. So here is a quick word from Brenda for you. I drink my cup of tea. Say hello, Brenda. Hi. <laughs> and one of the things Brenda likes to do, <laughs> because, like me, Brenda is very, very fussy <coughs> with her tea, aren't you? So... What have we got over here in that little bag, Brenda? <laughs> like to show the people what she's got there? Tea bags. Now, why have you got a little bag of tea bags, Brenda? Because when I have tea out, often it's two weeks, so I have to take my tea bags with me. <laughs> so I put them in the teapot to make them strong. Very good idea. <coughs> and you put them in there, haven't you? In our yeah. little yeah. posh tea cups, which have got. <laughs> I put it in there, yeah. Normal tea in there. Anyway, I'm not going to force you to sit in front of the camera all day, so if you could say hello to a couple of people. Uh, Wendy said hello. Do you remember Wendy? She yeah. was at the Barry Manilow concert. Yeah. And she just wanted to say hello to you, so say hello. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. And Sharon watches these. Is she? Her sister. Hello, Sharon. All right. <laughs> And after we had the lunch, uh, we went to, uh, we're just walking up back back up through Tring. She lives in Tring in Hertfordshire, lovely place. But it, as I said to you on the, on the show yesterday, very quiet there, you know, not, not a lot of people. For a person on their own, it's not a lot of people that walk past her house for her to talk to and that. Um, and we walked back to the car and I found a picture framing place. Now, I bought, uh, actually, let me go and get it. I'll just I'd go and get it. Even. Stay there for a moment or two, just a moment. Well, be, be there in a minute. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. I'm coming. Coming now. One minute. One minute. One minute. Now, I, I bought this picture from eBay a while ago now. Look look at this. This is a lovely. Look at this. Look. Well, it was from, I think there it, there we go. It's a picture of a uh, Big Ben and, and Houses of Parliament and that sort of thing. All right. One minute. I'm putting that. Carefully on the floor. There we are. And um, I, ha I think it was by a Polish artist, and I bought it off eBay, which is a wonderful place uh, to to find th everything really, including stuff perhaps from an artist. You know, this artist obviously can't get in a gallery or something like that. So he sells his stuff on eBay. And it was only like 30 quid or something like that. I'd have been trying to find somewhere to go framing for it. Anyway, we went past this place and it said picture from Aha. So I popped in there. First of all, my eye was caught. My glass eye was caught by a picture in the window of beautiful bluebells in a wood type scene. I, th I thought it was really 75 quid, but it, was, it wasn't in a frame. It was like... Um, uh, canvas that had been stapled over a, 
a square like piece of wood. What do they call that now? Um, there's lots of companies do that. You get a photo and they have a, this like, like a like a square bit, but like a not rectangular bit of wood like that. Like, you know, that square wood like that. And they staple it over. But it wasn't actually a frame around the picture. Look wonderful, this picture. It was 75 quid. I thought, oh, it's a bit much for that. You know, if it had been in a frame, maybe so, but not like that. Um, although it did look very beautiful. And I asked him about my frame and it turns out it's going to be about £150 to put that in a frame because apparently they have to stretch it. I wish I could be stretched. I'm a little bit of a midget, I'm afraid. Yes, I'm about five foot seven. That, that's a bit small, isn't it? I wish I could be stretched. If I could be stretched, then perhaps the fat around my waist would disappear, wouldn't it? That'd be quite good. Maybe I could go on one of those old-fashioned uh, stretching machines that they used to use to punish people or uh, not execute. I said, no, I can't get words this morning. I think I've got, I've started this show too early. My brain is not functioning yet within normal perimeters. Now, what's that word? Uh, torture, that's it. Maybe I could get a couple of those torture machines and I could go on that and be stretched. Would, would that work or would all your bones or various limbs be pulled out of their sockets? I wonder. I think that could be a little job that my sister could do, to be honest. You know, she, she could charge she could charge men to go around and be tortured on one of the on various different machines people pay good money for that you know to be tortured they do they've all sorts of strange but probably you've watched some of them on the television you know you probably watch some of them on the television although the sun the sun would not like to report that oh they sorry they would love to report that they're upset this morning they're upset this morning. It says in the sun this morning, after judges gag the sun, here are nine love rat stories we would no longer be able to publish after cheetah charter ruling. Now, apparently, there's a couple of celebrities at the moment who have been having extra marital affairs. And the sun believes, the sun believes they are fully in their right to print the name of these people <clears throat> because they think we want to know. I have no interest who it is at all. I think most of us know who it is. I think we do, right? And I'm like, oh, well, so what? How does that actually affect my life? It doesn't. It doesn't affect my life, does it? Does it affect your life? No. So here are the stories that they would not have allowed to print, although they have printed in the past, right? Here we go. Here are nine classic sun stories. This is in today's sun. Uh, involving celebrity love rats we would no longer be able to publish under yesterday's Supreme Court ruling. Supreme Court. Oh, it must be very important there to have a name like that. Supreme Court ruling. Yes, the birthdays are coming up as well, surely. Stand by for those, boys and girls. Here we go. Zane's Thriller in Villa. Just after he left One Erection, sorry, One Direction last year, Zayn Malik romped. Romped. I wish I could have a romp with anyone. Even the cat doesn't want to romp with me anymore. Just after he left One Direction, Zayn Malik romped with Swedish club promoter Martina Olsen, 25, behind the back of his little mix fiancé, Pierre Edwards. So what? Who cares? Who cares? Good luck to the both of them. I don't care. Shane, Shane, cricket legend Shane Warne bombarded a model with explicit demands and X-rated photos. Oh, please, will someone please send me an X-rated photo? I would like a few to be sent to my phone now. Anything. Anything. The only thing that people ever send me are little videos of cats having fun. Not that sort of fun, even. Jason. Big trouble for Jason. Comic Jason Manford romped. Is that word to go? Romped. They like that word, don't they? Romped. With plus-size model Kimberly Spools. Never heard of her. Who is she? Who is she? Uh, one of his gigs, and then tried to silence her with cash. Silly cow, should have taken the money. Take the money, dear. What is your problem? You wanted it as well. Stop moaning. Uh, text pest Amir. And uh, let me tell you, Amir, is that the boxer? Oh, gorgeous, dear. Gorgeous. Amir Khan bombarded Claire Nuttall, 35, with lewd text. I mean, I wouldn't mind a lewd text from old Amir. Oh, he's gorgeous, urging her to perform acts on him and begging for a threesome. Oh, I'll have a threesome with you, Ramir. 
Thanks for advertising your wares in the sun. Here's another one. Uh, Vernon Kay. Now, it says TV presenter Vernon Kay. I think that's a bit of a not, n- n- uh, misnomer, don't you? Have you seen his television presentation? Not good, dear. Not good. Very fake. Hello and welcome to Celebrity Whatever is Scare. Celebrity. No, what is it? He does. Um, oh, does that uh, family family affairs? No, no. Just a moment, please. Family fortunes. We asked 800 people, do you think Vernon Kay is a good TV presenter? What do you think? Ding! Top of the board. 100 people said no. (laughs) Anyway, TV presenter Vernon Kay sent a 29-year-old page three model, uh, Rian Sugden, hundreds of texts. He must be on the three unlimited thing. You know, hundreds of texts would cost a lot of money. He must be on that uh, three mobile unlimited text service, I reckon. Over the last three months, I repeatedly talked about secretly... Me- I mean, why are these things of interest? Here, Kevin's Coke shame. Michael Lavelle's ex told her how the Coronation Street star snorted cocaine during a threesome romp. Why, why is this interesting? None of these stories are interesting. You know, and why does the son think that we want to hear about this? I've just, just no interest whatsoever. It goes on all the... I hate to tell you this. I hate to tell you this, boys, because this goes on all the time with everyone. Just not me, unfortunately. Oh, well, say la vie. So that's that's the bit in the sun there. I, I, I just don't understand all that business. I really don't. <clears throat> did I finish telling you about Brenda? We've kind of gone off the mark there, haven't we? Oh, yeah, so after after I did it with Brenda and walking up the shrine, we went, then went to the garden centre, the Y of our garden centre in Tring, and I bought dinner, so so Brenda bought me a few plants, which I'm quite pleased about. I'm desperately trying to find some space in the garden. We will do, very soon, another little video in the garden, because there's a lot happening. Lots of flowers coming out. I've got beautiful pink azaleas that I've just opened up in the last two days, and I've got a big fox glove. Foxglove right in the middle of my like um flower patch and I'll show you that on the on the next show, okay? Or, 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 or yeah, within the next couple of shows. What is it today? Friday. Might be able to do it tomorrow actually. I've got a bit of time uh, tomorrow to do after I've been down to Waitrose to do my shopping. Um thank you very much uh, for your messages, boys and girls, uh, on the show yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, Wendy says the new iPhone. SE, which is the one um, uh, that uh, Jess mentioned, um, is the same size as the iPhone 5S, which is what I've got. And the iPhone 5S is the actual unit that I, the device that I use to record all of my, um, uh, all of these little shows, boys and girls. Okay, and also we also use it for Facebook Live. And we did try Facebook Live, by the way, the other night. And it works without being cut off anywhere. So I'm not quite sure why, where the problem's coming from. As I say, uh, those of you who watch the Facebook live videos, we do lots of uh, karaoke live uh, shows now. When I do a karaoke night, I set the camera up, switch it on, let it run. Uh, but but it's been the, the app's been crashing for some reason. So I don't know if we've had an update to, since we tried it on on th- Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Maybe it's working now. So we'll see you again tonight. Okay. If uh, if you're around tonight in the North London area, every Friday and Monday indeed, uh, we do karaoke at the place called Central Station, Wharfdale Road in King's Cross. That's every Friday from eight thirty. And every Monday from eight o'clock. And if you come Monday from eight o'clock, it's got cheap drinks as well. Okay, that's a karaoke at Central Station, Wharfdale Road. And we'll try and see if we can do a karaoke live show uh, on Facebook One tonight for that. So keep an eye out. And that would start around about uh, half past eight, nine o'clock time on the internet. Okay. And uh, I was saying uh, maybe it's time to change the phone because I'm having a couple of little problems with it now. It's, um, it's about three years old and it gets it really does get used a lot. My phone probably the same as yours. Um, uh, Wendy says the knife, uh, uh, the new iPhone SE is the same size as the iPhone 5S. It was iPhone's latest release. New and improved smaller iPhone might be ideal if you want to get a new iPhone the same size as the 5S. Yes, um, I, I do like the larger 6, but I think, I think after a while I'd start, oh, I can't, can't get this in my pocket. I think it would be a bit like that. I think a, bit, a little bit too much to carry around for you, one of those big ones, Wendy. 
And uh, Wendy also said, please give my love to Auntie Brenda. Fond memories of meeting her at the O2 at the uh, Barry Manilow concert a couple of years ago, wasn't it? Yes. Of course, the man is on the wall behind me. Our new Barry Manilow concerts are coming up in just a matter of a few weeks. It's all very exciting. I should be going on Monday uh, to... Oh, is it Monday? One minute. Yes, Monday to Cardiff on, on the 20th of June and Thursday the 23rd at, uh, at the O2 in London. They're the Manilow concerts I'm going to. Uh, my sister says... Uh, a gift for me. She said, thank you for my lovely gift. And I can tell you what it was now. The gift that I bought my sister was a Ted Baker ladies like shopping bag tent. So I won't lie. It wasn't a, a, an over expensive thing, but it's just a nice thing to send up. I was going to take it up to my sisters because I'm going to pop up there soon in a few weeks time. Um, after I've seen the Manilow concerts. Uh, but it is, I think it's nice to get a box, isn't it? You know, suddenly get a box with a, oh, what's this? You know, I, I think that's a, an added excitement. Although it would cost 20 quid to send the bloody thing, dear. DHL, I'd quite like DHL. Always guaranteed to get there and they don't bash around the box. I, I, I've like, I, I've become converted to sending large boxes via DHL. What's the time? Oh, Ronnie's coming around soon. We're going to have our air. Okay, he's probably trying to ring me at the moment. But, but I turned the... The, the, the phone off now so that we are not disturbed while you and I are chatting to each other. Yes. Uh, Kiki D said, so pleased to see your show uh, today. That was that was Thursday's show. Ari, the inner tube, pump it up last. It's very easy because we we're talking about how do you change the inner tube on a tyre? It takes me about 45 minutes. <laughs> I can't get the tyre back on. Not even with the levers and then a pinch it. But she said to put the inner tube in the tyre, not around the rim, then put it on and then pump it up last. So thank you very much for that. And uh, Sharon Stones, hello Sharon, uh, says you might not have too much going on there on your on your iPhone. Maybe the computers might like have to delete something on the phone. Now I deleted a lot on the phone, including stuff I didn't want to delete. And I found out after I deleted it that I didn't need to delete it. But there you go. We we, we live and learn, don't we? Thank you very much for those. Uh, some birthdays today, boys and girls. Let's see whose birthday it is. We got a lot of birthdays today, actually. Uh, first of all, my very good friend Daniel Warwick, or known as Daniel Mr. Ridiculous Warwick, uh, who is 31 today. God, how did that happen, Daniel? 31. Don't you feel old? Oh, we feel like, but don't worry, Daniel, it doesn't matter. My favourite period of life, Daniel, was between 32 and 47. So you've got another year to wait. But that was, everyone has their, like, I think everyone has their favourite period of their life. Mine was between 32 and 47. So I need another year to go for you, mate, unless you're having it now. Daniel is a British telecom engineer. He does, a, by the look of it, he does a very similar job to what I used to do, although he has to deal a lot with uh, internet stuff and that sort of thing. I never, we didn't have internet when I worked for BT. That's how many years ago that was. Happy birthday, Daniel. Happy birthday to um, Liam Bentley. Liam, I used to work with at Belushi's in Hammersmith quite a number of years ago. He went to Australia to live um, uh, uh, with a girl. Didn't quite work out. I think he's back now. So happy birthday to Liam. Don't think I ever forget you people. All right, my darlings, those that you haven't seen for ages and ages. I do remember. Of course, I remember you all. Uh, happy birthday tonight to Liz Clark. Liz is one of Ronnie's uh, good friends. He's, she lives kind of one, two, about two doors away from him. So happy birthday to Liz, who is a God botherer, the same as me, a church goer, which makes you very high in my estimation, Liz. Happy birthday, Liz. Happy birthday to Shirag Patel. Now, Shirag is also a drag queen known as Chi-Chi Kankani. I've known him for years and years and years since I used to work at uh, Reflex, I think, in Putney. Happy birthday to you, sir. Uh, happy birthday to Wayne Latham, who is a singer. Hello, happy birthday, Wayne. Loads today. And happy birthday to James Max, who who won... Uh, uh, what Did you win it? I can't remember now. But you were on The Apprentice years and years ago. For some reason, you're on my friend's... Um, Facebook things. I, I probably friended you. You wouldn't know who I am. In fact, I doubt very much you've got to this point of the show and are still listening and watching it. Uh, James also does a show on BBC Radio London. So happy birthday to all you people. Now I've got to fit all these names in and such. A t I'm going to have to pause the pause the happy birthday music thing. Right, here we go. Happy birthday time. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Daniel, 
Mr. Ridiculous Warwick, Chi Chi Kankani, Liam Bentley, Liz Clark, Shirad Patel, Wayne Latham, James W. Max. <sighs> Happy birthday to you. All right, happy birthday to all of you, the little young ones and the little old ones as well. All right, that's all for today, boys and girls. Uh, I better go because uh, Ronnie will be coming around shortly. We're going to get our hair cut today in Wokingham, where they have a Marks and Spencers that doesn't sell white long sleeve shirts. As I keep mentioning, I don't want you to forget that. Most disappointing. Have a lovely Friday. And if once again, if you're around the North London area tonight, every Friday, uh, it's karaoke from 8.30 p.m. Come along and sing us a song, all right? Cheerio.